We're now pleased to have from a slightly different part of the political spectrum Natalie Bennett, this year's new and the second leader of the Green Party in England and Wales. Okay, are you cold out there? Yes! Well, well done for being here. Give yourselves a round of applause to warm up. But the fact is, although you might be cold and it's cold today, this issue is hotting up. We're getting people, more and more people, up and down the country taking action on this. This morning I was on the bus talking to a guy who wasn't very political, but he said, I've heard of this fracking, what is it? And I said it means the industrialisation of large parts of our countryside. And he said, that sounds pretty bad. And then I said, it means tr lorries, huge lorries rumbling all over the countryside, heaps and heaps of them. And he said, oh, I don't want that. And then I talked about the pollution, the radioactivity, the, the chemicals. And he said, yeah, well, I definitely don't want any of that. And that's the fact. The people, when they learn the facts of this, about fracking, they're on our side. And we have to get more of them out there and tell more and more about this. And you know what's really crazy about this? We all know we don't need fracking. We can use renewable energy, wind and solar and tidal we can use energy conservation to provide everything that we need. And when we do that, we have nice, warm, comfortable homes. Would you like nice, warm, comfortable homes? Yes! And we can have jobs, lots of jobs. Would you like jobs? Yes! And we can do a lot to fix our economy. You want to fix our economy? Yes! Now, there's lots of people out there in fuel poverty. They don't have to be. We can solve those problems. Yet all of those things that we know we can do, they're not in the energy bill. As John said, over there, they're considering an energy bill that's got nothing about energy conservation and that provides sneaky ways to actually fund nuclear power. Ooh. The fact is, we don't have to. We've all got lots of arguments about why nuclear is bad in terms of safety, in terms of storage of fuel. But actually, we can even go and find lots of allies who will never back us on that. There's a group called the Supporters of Nuclear Energy. You know what? They wrote to David Cameron and said, don't do nuclear because it's too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> the fact is, economic arguments are on our side, environmental arguments are on our side. We know that sense is on our side. The fact is that people are on our side when they understand the facts. What we've got to do is get them over there on our side. Yes. My Twitter feed today has been full of action. There's not a lot of us left here now, but up and down the country, not just the people here, but up and down the country, there's been actions to say that we have to tackle climate change, we have to stop fracking, we have to ensure we have renewables and energy conservation. So you're here, around the country there's people, we together can get this to happen. We can point the energy bill in the right direction and change the direction of the country. So let's go and do it right now. Thank you. Yay!